Hey guys, it's me, Professor Brilliant. I'm thinking of going to Africa the next time, but so I've got this book to see exact animals, insects you can see in Zambia. Yep, I'm going to Zambia and there are insects. So let's show you the insects. So these are termites, which I don't know. Now, the males fly of term. Now, people hate termites, but these fly and live on the ground. They even have their own queen termite, I mean this one. And these are the grasshoppers. Some have, have square heads and... Now, the Japanese... Now, the native ones have triangular heads, but these ones have square heads with a purple coloration and some black and some with orangey red and a green with green outer wings now these are katydids or crickets they all look like they all look pretty beautiful, but of course, katydids and crickets are both are both not quite similar. But I also need to say this, but katydids and crickets and grasshoppers are the same relatives together. Now here, now here's a tough one by both, by the both same species, same family members, the mantises and the cockroaches. This one may be the smallest species of cockroaches. I've seen this before, but I can't really tell exactly what it is. But this one is the eyeball cockroach. This one's the spiny flower mantis and this one's the ghost mantis. This, and I always wanted to see a spiny flower mantis. Now this may look like a stick insect. Is it a stick insect or a twig insect? I don't know. Something great about this species is it's a dynamic display. Hey guys, but what I understand is it's a herbivore. So, so it's quite a waste of this nice body making. It's only used for defense. So these are stink bugs, and I'd say another species of bee eat the beetle family, as it's they're very beautiful. But from what I understand, they're very stinky. They they come in either spots or stripes, like dot. I remember in a previous video I said about. The Kamakiri Modoki. This is what it would be like if it was a, an adult. This is the ant lion. It eats ants like this to live and, hi and hibernate and then turn into these animals. These are the butterflies. Uh, I think I've seen some of them in Japan, but but I haven't seen all of these, but they and they feast on something salty and and some on flowers. These are the moths. Uh, moths are very dangerous. I mean, if you touch them, you'll either become sick or die. And another thing is, if you touch them and touch your eye, it it will hurt your eye forever. Meet the stag. These are beetles. This one is, in fact... Well, there's a YouTuber in this country named Mushioka. He loves these insects. Uh, I'm not pretty sure if this is the exact creature, but I know that this, this, the species is the Goliath, the Goliath beetle. This is known as it's either the 12th or the 13th pretty.
And these are the wasps. The na they are very nasty. These are the flies and stuff. They're all black. No one actually knows likes the color black, but they but the stingers are serious. And finally, these are the whole house flies or the gnats or the horse flies and mosquitoes. And but there are still lots of animals that you haven't seen that I haven't shown you. Let's see. Let's see them. Let's see them. Let's see. Let me show you all the other. Now, this book doesn't show all of the Zambian animals, so I am going to show you the rest of the Zambian insects. Oops, I forgot that it's still on, on the katakana mode. So, so let's use move it to the USA. I don't mean technically. I don't mean the USA. I mean, I mean turning it into the US. In like, uh, okay, maybe I just made a mistake. One sec. So these are insects, but I need to write. Oops, mistake. So these are insects from Zambia. See this beautiful butterfly. This wasn't in the collection. And this is uh the guy Raisha, I think Muniaka Harabiro Kamakiri. And for some reason this South Eyeball, the eyeball mantis also lives in Zambia. And here's a pink moth that didn't show up on the book. I quite like this moth. It's pretty be it's very beautiful. A moth on carnival, so it's alright. They're not dangerous. This is a caterpillar. I've seen other caterpillars like this, but I never seen a cat this kind of caterpillar and And these termites aren't here too, and and for some reason I'm showing, I'm including spiders. Now there are lots of mantises that live in Zambia, like like these ones. They are very beautiful. But remember the zebra mantis I've shown you in a before video. Well, I guess these are all of the, I don't know, beetles? Yes, these are all beetles. These are all beautiful beetles. They are very beautiful. Oh, these are all the beetles in, in Zambia. They are very beautiful. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, see this one, this big beetle. This is the Goliath beetle. So oh, I say I'm saying that these is this is impressive of what I'm seeing. But let's catch up with more mantises. Okay, so I guess the Chinese mantis is fair. Now we've got the last time spiny flower mantis, but. Remember in a video before I told you about the zebra praying mantis? They live in, they do live in Zambia for some reason. For loads of reasons. The dun rolling bugs, these also live in Africa. You can, they are easy to find, like such as this one. An iridescent version. 
Of course, I guess almost every insect is originated from Africa. And it's natural for that to be true. And this is an ant, the tiger beetle, a fast insect. Ladybugs live, in, live there too. And you have a slightly different species of the Goliath beetle, but this is not exactly Mashoka Kun, the, the, the YouTuber Mashoka Kun's favorite. This one is it. Is it? I bet. I bet I'll definitely find this. I mean, I mean, just look at how cool, insane does it look. I mean, these black stripes and these very angry, like black eye spots and this and here's an un this is a kind of beetle that is the size of a ladybug now some of these animals i'm talking about are either either rare or either common Now I guess the now I guess cockroaches and termites are originated from Africa, and the mantises are also originated from Africa. So I'm happy. So I'm actually happy to go to Zambia to try and find them. Okay, this was Professor Brilliant again. Bye.